Staying in Elmira, the school year is about to begin, and today the Elmira College Class of 2028 began that process with move-in day. WENY's Max Coben reports. Today's the move-in for the class of 2028. It's extremely exciting because we're bringing in our largest class in the last few years, so nice growth here at Elmira College. Before the first day of classes even begin, first-year students and transfer students got a head start by settling into the dorms. I'm entering my freshman year. I'm excited. I'm coming here to play basketball and study finance, so I'm just looking to have some fun and you know, get things going. The move-in process wasn't just about unpacking boxes and making your home away from home comfortable. It was the start of building a community. Upperclassmen and Elmira College athletes lent a hand to families to make that process a little bit smoother. Well, I feel like Elmira is a big community, and especially like being in a school, like everyone's so close together, and they're going to realize that, and everyone gets to know each other slowly, slowly, and like just being here like helps integrate into that, and like the moving process, because obviously there's some people that are from like different places that don't have a lot of friends that come here, so like we're here to help and lend a helping hand to everyone that needs help. Elmira College's class of 2028 is diverse, with students from 12 countries and 23 states. As President Lindsay reminds them, they are not alone in their first day jitters. Typically, a freshman feels that I must be the only one that's anxious about this experience, and pretty much everyone is about a new experience. So my advice would be reach out, ask questions. We have faculty, staff, and administration who are really here to help. And if they don't ask the question, we don't know. So be, be vocal, reach out, and uh, we're here to help. So with new faces and fresh excitement, the stage is set for another exciting year at Elmira College. In Elmira, Max Coven, WENY News.